Hi, my name is Cecilia, and I'm an educational interpreter at the Aniston Museum of Natural History. And today, I'm going to share with you guys one of my favorite hobbies, bug collecting. So you might be wondering, why would somebody want to collect those? Well, insects are highly important for our ecology. They collect waste, they pollinate plants, and they make up a big part of our food chain. Insects are also the most abundant and diverse creatures in the world. So you can make a grand collection just from your backyard, and you can always find something new to add. Not to mention, insect collecting is free and easy. There are different methods to use, and my favorite one is to use a bug net. To catch flying insects, sweep at it and flip the net over to secure them inside. Once you've caught your insect, you can place them in any household jar or container. I usually use pickle jars. Then put them in the freezer for a couple of hours. Pinning allows you to position the bugs in an aesthetically pleasing manner as they dry. You will need a piece of foam and number two pins. I ordered these off of Amazon for $5. Take the insects out of the freezer and allow them to dry for a couple of minutes. For butterflies and moths, you will push the pin through the middle of the thorax. And for beetles and other bugs, push the pin through the elytra, which is located to the right of the back of the wing. Once pinned, you can use other pins to hold the bug's legs and wings in place while it dries. You can then show off your collection by displaying them in a shadow box. I hope this inspires you guys to start an insect collection of your own and enjoy it as much as I do. Feel free to show us your progress and post pictures in the comments below.